Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is an introduction video of Perl programming language which is heavily used in VLSI related tasks and every now and then it is a necessary skill to possess. Perl is a powerful scripting language popularly known as Swiss Army Chain Software Programming Languages. It is very powerful and adaptable. It is first developed by Larry Wall for NASA in late 1980s as a way of making pro report processing easier. It is very useful in computer systems and since then it has evolved into automating system administration, web programming, bioinformating, data munging and even application development. Here is a roadmap for our course. We will start with introduction and then we will go to basics like arrays, lists, strings, hashes and loops. Then we will go for functions. Then we will go for file handling, reading, writing, then pattern matching. Here we will deep dive into concepts and try to cover as much as we can and your feedback is very important to us during this journey. There are some important features of Perl which you must know. For example, there is no requirement of specifying the data type in Perl and it has only three types, scalar, array and hashes. And there are some constraints related to the syntax which you must know, like scalar must start with dollar and array must start with at and it automatically takes into account whether it is int or string. Both are scalar values for Perl. This is important. We will discuss all these things later on also in detail. By default, all scalar values have initial value as zero. So these are the important features. Some download related info. According to official website of Perl, it is available and can run on more than 100 platforms. Here is the download link for Windows platform. While for Mac, Linux and Unix based platform, it is already built in with OS. It may not be the latest version you will find, but it will be still sufficient and can do most of the tasks that we want it to do. Let's have a look on the basic first program. So here is our first program. Here user bin Perl. This path is actually the Perl interpreter binary path. It is called as shebang line. If you want the script to be portable from Windows to Unix and Sigwin related platforms, then keep the shebang line. Usually it is a good practice to keep the line. And output will be obviously hello world. In the next video, we will move to other basic concepts and then we will dive into advanced concepts and live examples. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and post your views in comment section. Thank you.